True. What's up? up what is up with those dreams when you're? Uh, man, I had this dream. I got my uh, penis cut off. No. Last night. Yeah. No. And seriously. It, and enlarged. Yeah. Enlarged. It, it, was it detached in your body when it was enlarged, or was it replaced it was, with it was, a new it was, one? It was a kind of thing where you you cut it off, give it to the doctor. They they enlarge it and, and they it sew it back on. But the problem is, is they sewed it back on, but there was they don't they don't cut it off right at the base. They cut off about an inch from the base, so there was a gooseneck yeah. in it. You know, there was a, a dog oh, leg. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It was weird. Why has everything got to be wrong? Why in my dreams is everything well, wait, wrong? Wait, wait, wait a minute. One of the, one of the fantasies about male castration anxieties is not so much about the nuts. But, uh, oh, uh, engineer Michelle's freaked out about this. Yeah. Men have weird little subconscious fantasies about having their penis stolen. And oftentimes, the split between a big penis and a little penis. They're going to steal a little one or give back the big one. Yeah. And these are all symbols of power, basically. It's fun mm -hmm. to there. And also things you don't want anybody getting near. Well, it got cut off and it got enlarged. And it got sewn back on, but it has sort so, of a dog leg in it. So you're sort of an incomplete adult. Speed bump. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I never, any, nothing ever goes right in my dreams. Yeah, well, think about your life. I, I know, but huh? it, this, is, that, is this the way everyone's dreams are? No. They're not? No. Well, no, Michelle, it, she lives in Nirvana in her dreams. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. And she had, had a uh, dream. She fell into a vagina the size of a canoe. That was her last dream. Yeah, then went over Niagara Falls in it. Yeah. No, but seriously, I, I, I really want to know this. People should tell should tell me, and uh, Drew, I want you to tell me, too, what yours are like, but uh, Michelle's probably a little, little happier than we are, but <laughs> I don't have a dream that isn't like a Twilight, epi Twilight Zone episode, whereas they all, have, they, all, they all have sort of a fable, moral sort of lesson to them like oh you think you want this oh you think you're yeah, going to get this oh you're not but that's you're not going to get this that's the chronic sort of stuff you were subjected that, to as a child is that what it is yeah. so other people have dreams where they're just banging a model mm -hmm. or uh, on an island or they you know they can just fly like things. superman fly, or they, yeah. they they win a super bowl mm -hmm. everything works out mm -hmm. just v victorious dreams mm -hmm. no catches no at the end nothing doesn't work or something like that not necessarily really yeah Wow. That's you. Wow. You gotta go home now. That's so sad. <laughs> I just figured everyone had this horrible dream. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. All right. No, I mean, like, my dream would be, oh, I could play in the Super Bowl, but I would have an equipment problem and yeah. not make it out into the field. Right. I'd yeah. be in the locker room frustrated trying to get something, yeah. shoulder pads that's on. That's how you described your life as a child, right? You've yeah. repeatedly described it that way. That's so, that's, that's, so but no. you would have a dream where I actually played in the game. Yeah, let me think what my stuff is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my stuff. I have be a mess. Well, too. no, no. I, yeah, I have anxiety dreams. This yeah, happening, somebody wants to borrow thing. a nickel. No, 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 no. Yeah. Anxiety about things. Things cheap. I'm, I'm in there rescuing things, and things are falling apart. And I'm but do you ever have any stuff. victorious dreams? Yeah, yeah, any good I dreams? I, yeah, I do. I, you do. I, I succeed in in helping. Yeah. All right. What do you mean succeed in helping? You have a dream, right. but do you have a dream right. where you kick a little ass and and, and you know down know. a better model or anything? Oh yeah. Okay. True. It's a passionate man. He can't close it, shut it out. And by the way, uh, he's his passion begins when the street lights come on. <laughs> That's when his passion begins. See, my, my conscious mind settles down. <laughs> Count <laughs> Pashula. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you oh bo oh, when you shut it off when the glasses come off. And it's just uh, Drew in the midways oh, and yeah. a little chubby. Yeah. And uh, the shorty time. socks, look out. I mean, imagine, Drew, when you can let that passionate mind run wild because you're, you're a guy who is, who is um, brimming with passion, but you keep yourself in check a little bit. You know, you know what? Yes, absolutely true. But, but the other thing that happens to me, I'm just thinking, I was, in fact, it was happening to me this morning. I'm so relaxed when I'm sleeping deeply to the point where I'm dreaming. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about being relaxed. Ah. And I'm not about... All right. Getting, you know. I got my penis cut off. There you go. And also, I frequently have this, and, I, and I, I'm sure everyone has this one, where you know you're talking to or in the presence of somebody, they just look like somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to... Or the composited. They're, they're, if you're talking to somebody, but they look like somebody else, but you're talking to them. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, I, it's Frank's not to, but it's your mom, you know, or whatever. It's, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. All right, that that no, everyone well, does that. Everyone does that. Well, yeah. why does that one work that That's way? Because, because your brain in, in that part shouldn't of your brain, it just be the person you think you're going to go see? No, I mean, in are, flesh, it's more like things don't things don't follow linearly in that part of your brain. That the things just are more sort of global. Things that have common feelings create common images. Yeah, 
I'll tell you, if you had my dream on tape and you popped it in, you would have me institutionalized. Do you, yeah. do you understand? Yeah. Like my last night's dream, you would look at that and you would say, uh, time up, uh, grab him with that giant butterfly net yeah. and uh, lock him up. Yeah. This man could not be out on the streets. It was that effed up. All right. We're feeling more good. about it? No. Something happened? If they do something with your penis other than enlarge it? <sighs> no, Use it on somebody? Not. Whip somebody with it? <laughs> Hey, I mean, we haven't thought of it in a long time when yeah. your your mother and grandmother beat you with the, your own scrotum until you drown in the pool. Remember uh, that one? Yeah, I do remember that. One. That's the same. That's the same kind of a dream. That one. That was though, but that was in the day when you were more that drowning. Would, that, that dream would be considered a a Sullivan book compared to what yeah, was going on. What's interesting though, though that was the day compared when, to when what went were, on last night. But I know, but that was in the day in your life when you were like really struggling and yeah. being beaten down by everybody. Now yeah. you're sort of literally a millionaire. Yeah, and now people just take your penis away. That's true. Yeah, I no longer have the recurring dream where the animal bites onto me. Right.